Good morning. Wanting to come just share with you a little more about this current understanding I have about how important it is that we take care of how we feel. But the energetic understanding, even the spiritual understanding of our feelings, how they, we can start to see that they're there as guidance and even part of our spiritual connection. That when we have feelings, that we can see that we always have this connection with a part of ourselves, whether we call it our true self, our inner self, our inner being, our heart, our soul, our sense of connection with spirit or God, the universe, how we like to see it. So we've always got that connection going on and that part of us. And then we have our more maybe a earthy self, right? So we, we get these thoughts, we get these feelings, and we can start to see that when we feel bad, it probably always is an indicator that we're currently thinking or focusing, imagining, remembering, judging in a way that is different than that part of us, that true self, that higher self, or our heart, our soul, that God part of us, right? So that we can start to see that those emotions, not there to terrorize us, those feelings, but there as guidance, telling us in this moment, several things, but that's one of them, telling us how aligned or not we currently are in our perspective, in our focus, in how we're thinking about things, how we're focusing, and thus how we're creating how aligned that is or not with that part of us, that higher aspect of us, that deeper part of us, that more spiritual side of us. So those emotions as guidance as to how aligned we are or not. And then also, because it's all energy and vibration and we're energy, we're made of vibration, right? And now even in our culture, it's common to talk about vibing with people and what vibe are you? You know, I didn't like her vibe or I do like your vibe, right? So more of us are aware than ever that it's energy, we're energy and that we can feel each other's energy, right? And even that our energy is impacting our environment and even if we're into the awareness of like law of attraction, that what energy we're in is what we're gonna be attracting more of, right? Not only bringing to our environment, but attracting more in. So our feelings tell us about our energy and our vibe also. So we can start to then see in that awareness when we notice how we're feeling with non-judgment, we can take a look. But then the bonus is as we do things to help ourselves feel better, that that's gonna help us move more into an aligned state because feeling better goes with a, a higher vibration, right? That we can start to see that a lower vibration or our feelings tell us about what vibe we're in, right? So then the importance of taking care of how we feel, so when we do things to help us feel better and reconnect spiritually too, right? And our perspectives and our awareness, our psychology, but we can do those things through things like the body, interestingly, right? But that those feelings are there to tell us about what energy we're in. And then that we can start to gauge that when we're feeling better, that tells us we're generally getting into a better vibe, a higher vibe, and we're also getting more aligned spiritually. That our perspectives in that moment are probably more aligned with how that more spiritual side of us would see things, right? So that's why we feel better. But interestingly, we can go about it both ways, that now we know we can even change our physiology and that's a lot of what we do with these systems that employ things like exercises and breath, right? Like yoga, that we can see now just to change our physiology, just to go towards feeling better is going to change our energy and help us align and be even more receptive to reconnect spiritually and feel better emotionally, right? So whatever, and basically that we can start to see that it is a holistic picture, how we're feeling and our energy and that taking care of our energy and taking care of our alignment is really a lot of what we're doing with these practices. So yeah, we may be getting 
health benefits and such. We might like the ways that our practices serve us in various ways like that, but also we can see at the root of it, it's about reconnecting us spiritually, getting us more in tune with ourselves, helping us have ways to tune into and understand our emotions as that guidance, right? And to just be more in that awareness and lifestyle and consciousness that it's all energy, it's all vibration, how we're feeling tells us about our vibe and also about how aligned we are or not in this moment with that deeper, wiser, more spiritual part of us and life. So we're doing deep work when we're doing these practices that really do change how we're gonna show up energetically, emotionally, right? Much less physically, definitely, mentally. And that's not only gonna change us, right? But it's really cool to think of how this could help change the world, right? Or just make the world better, bring more peace to the planet at this time, right? Bring more love to the planet at this time by getting ourselves in that place and doing what we can do to reconnect ourselves to start to understand our emotions more as that guidance and have practices that can help us tune into those emotions and understand what the guidance is, right? whether it's in various forms of meditation, things like journaling. Ooh, and it's 444 here. <laughs> but yeah, that we can realize we're starting to get to really understand, work with, utilize, and maximize what's going on here <laughs> with our understanding of emotions and our spiritual connection and how we can play a role, right? And that's where I love that that word tuning, tuning ourselves, tuning ourselves in more, just noticing how we are doing, noticing how we're doing, experiencing those emotions as guidance, right? Not trying to shut them down or turn them off, but letting ourselves feel them. But also knowing and feeling them also is going to help us free up feelings that we might be repressing or numbing. And so it's important to feel the feelings as part of the alignment, but also because we can start to remember that those feelings are that spiritual guidance about how aligned we are in our current perspectives with ourselves and others in the world. And that the, that's a big part of why we're feeling how we're feeling. And that as we can find ways to realign that with how we really want to be thinking, how we really want to be feeling and focusing about ourselves in the world. And yeah, how that more spiritual side of us would be doing that or is doing that right now. If you believe in the, if you like the word God, if you want to be more in that God consciousness. And, and that's where I think it's interesting to be alive at this time where maybe more than ever, more of us are ready to be in that different consciousness, which we could call Christ consciousness, if we like that word, which is just the awareness that we are all that and we have that within us and how can we live more tuned into that, right? So yeah, that's what we're talking about on seeing. And part of it is understanding our emotions as guidance spiritual guidance about how connected we currently are spiritually. And then, the, yeah, the answer can always be more, more ways that help us reconnect, help us feel better, and that those go hand in hand. Feeling better is going to help us reconnect, and reconnecting is going to help us feel better. So finding things that do that for you, like I've found, and we could call that all yoga if we want, because yoga means just to connect. That's what yoga means, anything that reconnects us, helps us find or create more union within ourselves, in the various aspects of ourselves, and even with our world and our experience of being human. So yoga just means to connect or union, and this, I'm loving just seeing more and more that this is what the OG yogis were talking about and how we can start to see this is how Things like yoga change our lives, um, or can, right? Especially when we start to see it's helping us not only deal with our emotions, heal our emotional stuff, but even understand and utilize our emotions as guidance and have practices that can help us do that, right? Instead of just being <laughs> terrorized by our emotions and, and just helping us understand more how we can work with that, use that, and live better, love better with that approach. So I hope that's helpful and 
love sharing with you. Please reach out if I can ever be a help in your tuning practices for your mind, body, and spiritual connection. And thanks for being here. Love sharing the learning and the awareness and the enlightenment along the way. <laughs> Have a good one out there. Namaste.